You boys be quiet down there! Today on Neo Geo Generation, we'll be once again looking at a completely unreleased Neo Geo game that never made it into the hands of players. NGH number 035, Mystic Wand, 1991 from ADK. The NGH number of 035 has been deduced by the process of elimination. There is simply no other number that this game could possibly be. As always, the information in this video is the best knowledge that we have as of 2022 and is subject to future updates should any further details about the game become known. Unlike Dunkstar and most of the other unreleased games that we've covered in this series, there is no evidence that the ROM for Mystic Wand has been dumped or that the game data has been preserved. It remains a completely lost prototype which hasn't been seen since it was shown by ADK in 1991. We can only hope that this game will one day be preserved and made available for generations to experience and enjoy. That belongs in a museum! Mystic Wand is a single-screen fantasy-themed action game with puzzle elements. According to Takashi Hatono, a top designer and director at ADK, the game was inspired by Solomon's Key from Tecmo. Like in Solomon's Key, your character is able to create blocks with a wand, but unlike in that game, the characters are able to move the blocks after creating them, potentially putting Mystic Wand in league with single-screen bubble bobble style games like Snow Brothers. We have a few different pieces of evidence to prove that Mystic Wand ever existed, not least of which is 38 seconds of the game in motion from a handheld camera at SNK's booth at either the 1991 AMOA show or the 1991 Summer Consumer Electronics show in Chicago. For those who remember the NGH028 video, this is the same handheld footage where we got our first look at Dunk Star. In fact, Dunk Star follows immediately after Mystic Wand on the video. 22 seconds into the footage, the cameraman actually moves away from the screen for 7 seconds to show some Alpha Mission 2 footage running on another screen. If only he had known he was shooting the only known footage of the game at the time, he may not have turned away, but of course, we are thankful someone shot this footage at all. In addition to the footage, we have a 1990-1991 press release kit from SNK that lists Mystic Wand and Dunkstar. We have an August 1991 article from the French publication Joystick Magazine. This one calls the game Mystic Man under the screenshot, and then uses the correct title in the article. Sengoku is mistakenly referred to as Wand. The article also mentions that the game does not look like much, but turns out to be very entertaining. Next, we have a supplement from the November 1991 issue of Electronic Gaming Monthly Magazine, which mentions and gives a short description of the game. We also have several mail-order game retailer advertisements from Electronic Gaming Monthly Magazine, listing Mystic Wand for sale soon. And finally, a retailer advertising in the December 1991 Die Hard Game Club, which lists the game as coming soon. This one refers to the game as Magic Wand for some reason. According to Takashi Hatono, who was there before, during, and after the Mystic Wand project, the game was given a location test at an arcade in Okagawa, Japan in 1991. Mystic Wand had a decent first day on location, but income dropped off immediately after that. Therefore, the game failed its location test, and this is the reason why ADK chose to cancel the game. The head of the project, Gen Suzuki, was fired by Kenji Sawatari. You're fired. Supposedly, Suzuki literally stormed out of the office and took the Mystic Wand development board with him, never to return or be seen again. According to the blurb from EGM, Mystic Wand is a multi-level action game. You control two fairies called Sprites, who journey to the Tower of Satan, while traveling through different lands using block formation powers. Your goal is to destroy Satan, two players simultaneous. We also have further details on the gameplay from Takashi Hatono. Press the A button to create a jewel block. Press B to jump. Press the A button again next to a block to change its color. Line up three blocks of the same color vertically or horizontally, and that line will disappear. You can attack by holding A next to a block. Your character can throw the blocks horizontally or vertically. You clear a stage by collecting all the items on the screen. 
There are also boss battles. In fact, the attract demo sequence that we see in the footage appears to be nothing but boss battles. The graphics don't appear to have more frames of animation than a typical 16-bit game at the time, but the sprites are pretty detailed. Your characters are able to move around the screen doing this flipping move. The small characters kind of look similar to the ones in Solomon's Key. The decently sized bosses and impressive multi-scrolling backgrounds make the game's unreleased status all the more tragic. The video unfortunately doesn't include the game audio, so we don't know what Mystic Wand sounded like. However, here's an anecdote, courtesy of the game lord, Chad Okada. Most Neo Geo fans are familiar with the bonus voice in Blazing Star, which repeats constantly. Well, apparently Mystic Wand had its own similar annoying voice clip. Whenever a character waved their magic wand, the game would play a voice clip saying, Magic, shoot! So this repeated constantly. It was so loud and obnoxious that it became a joke at the SNK USA offices. Employees would annoy each other by repeating the phrase, Magic, shoot! even long after the game had been cancelled. Perhaps Mystic Wand failed to grab the attention of players due to its small characters and apparently simple gameplay. Gamers may have been looking for something bigger, badder, better in arcades, and maybe these tiny characters just didn't cut it. It's possible the game was too easy, or not compelling players to coin up for other reasons. Those lucky players were some of the only people who ever got to experience Mystic Wand. It's too bad SNK hasn't been able to include Mystic Wand in a collection or a digital release for modern consoles. Due to the tumultuous situation mentioned around the cancellation of this game, and the disorganized way that data has been apparently stored over the years, it's unfortunately very likely that SNK doesn't have a copy of this game's data anymore. As a release from the now defunct ADK, the rights of the game would presumably fall to SNK. Mystic Wand may not have had what it takes to be commercially successful in the early 90s, but it's a shame because the Joystick article mentions the game is entertaining, and it really looks like it has the potential to be fun for today's players. If you have any information about this game, or any other lost Neo Geo game, then please post to one of the many popular online Neo Geo forums, or on social media. And in case someone out there has this game, I happen to be aware of a collector who owns a currently unreleased prototype Neo Geo game that he would be willing to trade for Mystic Wand. Upon obtaining Mystic Wand, he plans to make both games public, whereby the community would effectively get two games out of the deal. Just contact Basement Brothers on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and I'll be happy to put you in touch. If you happen to know about this game, then please, come forward. For every mystery, there is someone, somewhere, who knows the truth. Perhaps it's you. Thanks for watching. Next time on Neo Geo Generation, we'll be looking at NGH 036, Baka Tonosama Mahjong Manyuki. It's a Mahjong game, so no doubt the viewership will be double that of my usual videos, since it'll be a chance to learn all about a game that most viewers have probably never played through before. The game will get more or less the same treatment as NGH 027, Minasan no Okagasama Des. So if you haven't already watched that video, please go check it out and you'll know exactly what you're in for. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. This is Neo Alec, signing off.